All right, let's get ready and do a three month denture update. I've been getting so many questions lately on my dentures and I kind of just thought I would do it all on a YouTube video. I got my dentures technically January 12th, but I had the extraction and everything done on January 11th. Crazy how it's been three months. I want to say I was bedridden for three to four days. Like I did not want to move. I did not want to get out of the bed. Talking hurt, eating hurt. I had really bad sensitivity because my gums were just like exposed. They were sewn, but they were kind of exposed. Like no teeth were in obviously. As far as the sensitivity goes, sensitivity was bad. It hurt with cold, hot, whether it was food or drinks or didn't matter. Even going outside when it was 40 degrees or less, I had to wear a mask or something if I didn't have my dentures in because when that cold air touched my gums, I like dropped to the ground. I was like, oh, that hurts. Healing wise, everything is going good. I never had an infection. That was something I was worried about was that I'm getting infected because I'm healing because everything's, you know, exposed. I maintained the mouthwash I was using and then cleaning my gums and my dentures. I want to talk about the bone spurs that I've been struggling with. I had them obviously after I had the extractions done, but I still struggle with them now. And basically as your gums heal, they shrink and there's nothing you can do. You can't prevent them from shrinking. They just naturally shrink. And as they shrink, little bone pieces poke through your gum and you can see it. Like it literally, it looks like a, um, like a toenail poking through your gum. That's what it looks like. And it does hurt. The fresh ones do hurt, obviously. It's like um, losing your baby teeth and your adult teeth. Like that whole area is sensitive. Touching it, not touching it, um, eating, drinking, like it makes everything more sensitive around it. I did have the option to get them surgically removed, but they'll just go in, they'll numb you, obviously, and they'll just cut them out. I personally did not <laughs> want to go through another mouth surgery. Like I just had all my teeth extracted, dentures put in. I was like, no way am I going through another mouth surgery. I was like, no, it's fine. I'll deal with it. That's okay. <laughs> like I was saying, the bone pieces hurt whether you have your dentures in, you don't have them in. Honestly, once you really get the denture piece over the bone spur and it's like glued in and it's secure, it acts like a band-aid. Like I have a really bad one uh, right here and kind of back here. I don't even feel it right now because I have the dentures in. If I take the dentures out and let's say like my lip or my cheek is rubbing against it, then it's gonna hurt. But the denture doesn't hurt at all. As far as eating and drinking going, drinking is going fine. Eating, eating is weird. So eating with dentures, especially your bottoms, because bottom dentures, your bottom jaw has no suction. It's not like the roof of your mouth where it acts as a suction plate. The bottoms can just come up whenever they want. Like <laughs> they'll pop whenever they want to. And when you're eating, it's kind of a little bit more difficult because you don't have that security like you do on the top. Chewing is fine. It's just, you kind of have to eat like a cow <laughs> you have to chew on both sides like up and down um like i said it's kind of interesting relearning how to chew relearning how to eat in the best way possible i will say though the more i do it like practice makes perfect it doesn't hurt when you're chewing i mean it'll hurt if you clip your denture to your cheek it's like biting your cheek it's the sensation it feels like if you accidentally chewing and it comes unpopped. It's like I said, it's really not that bad. It's just very interesting to relearn about. I will say I don't have any regrets um, getting them done at all. Questions people like to ask is what can you eat and what can't you eat? It's really up to you and your jaw and how you relearn how to chew. There's no limit. It's not like they'll tell you you can't eat chicken ever again like it's not like they tell you that the dentist will literally say eat what's comfortable to you and it's all about a learning process so what i still do is if i eat like a chip 
I'll break it apart just a little bit, just enough that I can start chewing it, get the feeling of chewing a chip again, and then, you know, it's whatever after that. Same with steak. I would recommend kind of still eating smaller bites because of that top plate at the top. Sometimes food will get stuck at the top plate, you know, the roof of your mouth, that's the top plate. And then when you go to swallow, it's almost like it mislodges because it got stuck and then you already tried to swallow it. I recommend with that, um, drink something through a straw because the straw kind of just forces whatever it is to go down. <laughs> that was something that I was asking my dentist. I was like, I feel like I'm going to choke, but I'm not choking. It's just getting stuck before it hits my throat. And that's what he said. He was like, try drinking like water or, you know, whatever you're drinking through a straw. That way the straw just kind of aims the food to go down properly. Something I do get asked a lot is would I ever get implants? I do want implants, especially on the bottoms, just because implants are the permanent ones. The ones that you can get either magnets or they can do screws and they actually put it in your gum and then they pop, you know, the denture, or whatever, on top and then they, like I said, they screw it or it's just a very, very strong magnet. Only dentists can remove those, obviously. I mean, you're screwing that into my face. <laughs> so I would love to get implants just for my bottoms, just because the suction isn't there. I feel like it would make them last longer in my mouth because it's literally stuck to my mouth and not just glued on. The glue is definitely a working progress. Sometimes I feel like I put too much and then when I go to take my tops off, if I put too much on my top, my top is already secured. So when I go to like pull it, it's like a wrestling. I'm like wrestling with it. I'm like, come on, like let go. And then I feel like I can never put enough glue on the bottom to make the bottom just want to just stay and not move. Dentures are different for everybody. Everybody has different experiences. There's nothing wrong with how some people do it one way and then some people do it the other. Like, honestly, it's a learning curve for you. Like, yes, you can watch all these videos and be like, okay, but what do I do? But like, how do I do that? How do I get there? And you have to just keep practicing what's comfortable and what works for you. Because I watch so many denture videos, like people going into the surgery, people coming out of the surgery, uh, just the process of like how their healing journey was. And it's so different. Like everybody's is so different. If you're going to get dentures, don't go into it expecting one thing because well, it could turn around to be a whole completely different thing. And it's nothing bad. It's just how you learn, how you adjust. I would say my lisp is getting better. I feel like I already talk better. That was something I struggled with because I wasn't used to having plastic in my mouth. You know, dentures are made of like a really strong plastic. But I felt like I kept hitting my top plate and then at the bottom there's just, it's not really a plate. It's just kind of where it's like the lookalike gum goes on the inside where your tongue is. And I kept hitting that when I would talk and that's, I feel like that's why my lisp was so bad. It was because I kept clicking my tongue against my dentures. Overall, I don't regret it. I still want to keep doing these updates the more I go. Also with adjustments, I get asked a lot, they're like, yeah, but what do they adjust? So as your gums shrink, and like I said, as the bone spurs appear, you know, randomly throughout your gums, the dentist will do adjustments to your dentures. So they'll kind of like saw down a really pokey piece in your denture that's just making it more uncomfortable when you wear them and you have bone spurs or before I had the bone spurs, I had my stitches in, so they like adjusted to the stitches. The adjustments really do help. <laughs> they help a lot. I feel like every time I go, they're more comfortable. I will definitely keep doing, I don't know if I'll do monthly updates. I mean, if anything new changes or happens, I always update you guys on Instagram or TikToks. That was my three month denture update. It's crazy. It's been three months. I love you guys so much and I hope you have an amazing day.